Oh, that's a bit cooler. I prefer that. Morning world, welcome to Monday, 13th of May. You're filling up. Uh, everybody else, you're not, you're not. I'm not expecting these two yet, but that little one over there is definitely filling up. You're looking quite swollen as well. So yeah, the little heifers are gonna have their calves before the big three, but not quite yet. Right, well, as you already know, cows went out Saturday. Some of them were really, really happy to go out. The bunch that are in here, I mean, it's my fault. I had, what, 50 people stood around here. They're not used to all those people. And I had to encourage them to come out. You will have seen that from the video. Um, they've been out in the avenue now two days uh, and they've made a bit of a mess. You come in with me? We had the water board come in a week or so back and they were looking for a leak. And it's in this area somewhere. And I said, well, so what, what sort of leak are you looking at? He goes, oh, no, 600 litres. I said, what, a day? He's going, mm. I go, okay, that's, that's, that's a lot. Um, we checked my water line, my water, and there was no noise. So my water pipe was quiet, as far as we're aware, no leaks on mine. But we've got somebody else's water pipe that goes across the farm. In fact, it goes to the mansion down there. And it's a 50 mil water pipe that goes across the farm, comes through the corner over there, and then goes on across the field that way. Well, they repaired it a few years ago because it had a leak. And the repair was just over the fence there. And can you see that ridge of high grass all down through here which culminates into a wet patch here which we've had a while ago I'm kind of wondering if if that 50 mil water pipe has sprung another leak over there and it's been coming down through here and it's created this wet spot here and of course the calves found this and they've had a whale of a time in the last 24 hours puddling about in it look at it but yeah, there's much too much water here. Much too much. So I might call the water board back and see if it's theirs. Right, anyway, so they've been out and they've taken the top off the avenue. Um, there's still plenty of grass down the bottom, but it is time to let them out where they really, really, really want to go which is on the golf course. They're already heading towards the gate because they, the old cows know. <laughs> they know what's out there and that's, that is where they want to go. I could put the drone up, it's pretty windy, but I think there might be a, a, bit, of, a bit of running around when I open this gate. You have to wait for me to get there first. I have to get there first. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Biscuit, get up in here, biscuit. Go away, biscuit, 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 get up. No, get up there. Look, there. Come back here, we're gonna get run over. Come here. You're gonna get run over. You won't like it. You just stay there a minute, all right? Just stay there. Ready, you lot? Oh, biscuit.
Oh, little tiddler. That's 130. AKA Winnie, AKA Noisy Cow, AKA Kept Me Awake Again Last Night. So, right. They can stay out here for a few days. <laughs> so some of these young cattle um, may have been out here before, before they got weaned. So the little, little chap in front there, but the calves, they've never been out here. So now they're gonna have a couple of hours of exploring. There they go. Now they're happy. Okay, we're gonna go pay a quick visit to Tortworth, to Tortworth Court Hotel. Yes, we're there again today. Um, taking down a big black walnut. Unfortunately, um, well, it died. So uh, yeah, health and safety, all that. So it's coming down. I think the guys have dismantled it now. Simon's just called me to say he's off to go and get tractor and timber trailer, but uh, we'll go and have a look at that. Come back, lunch, and unless it's chucking down with rain, because doing paperwork outside in the rain is no fun, then the plan is, the plan is to go to Yacht A and look at their work over there. Uh, no, actually, we'll go this way. Psst. We'll go this way. So those of you that have been with us for a while, you will know this is one of Biscuit's favorite places in the entire world because this is, well, this is Squirrel City. You say, I don't look very clever either. I think that's what I can't remember which one we did. You know, just said that or that one. We did wooded one of them, didn't we? It's basically the last. Is there any life at all left in this? Yeah, there's quite a bit in there. Is there? She's just coming out. Mm. Okay. He is dead, dead, but he's also. He's, he's nearly, nearly dead. Yeah, he's mostly dead. And that was not on uh, Princess Bride. Mostly dead. Yeah, yeah, he was nearly dead, but not quite dead. Yeah. Mostly dead. He says not dead yet. Yeah. So I think a lot of the small stuff will take home. Yeah, so he thought he's got a little bit there. Even that's got a bit of art, wouldn't it, isn't it? Yeah. Did you say the harbour was looking right up there? or? not look too bad where he's cutting, yeah? Mm. Oh, there's a bit in there. Okay. That's the valuable bit. Uh, I haven't heard, no, don't think so. If he asks us to, we will, but... Well, that one. With Bobcat? Probably for the just one, probably just easier to do it in the autumn. Yeah. Yeah. Give him a bit more space, wouldn't it? Well, keep that tag as well and put that on there. There's a fair lump of heartwood there, aren't you? Right, so the plan is 
we're going to mill a load of this. So the bigger bits or the bigger, smaller bits are going to go back to Simon's on his um, wood moiser bandsaw. The stem, I think, is going to come back to me and we'll do that with a chainsaw mill. So, right, I need to go and see the head gardener. I found him on his mower, but he was going away from me. I thought he was coming back and didn't. He'd gone to his tea room. And I'm not walking all the way over there, so we're driving. There's one here somewhere, we just haven't seen it yet. Where is it? A little piece of oak we still got to pick up there as well. Still got the graft line in it, so yeah, hopefully someone remembers that. Right. This is the back end of the hotel, the bit where Lots of people don't see this bit. That's of course I go for a wander. There's a big old picker. Is he in there? Oh yeah. There's the mower. I found him. Right, I've been and seen Boss man, head gardener, disturbed his <laughs> disturbed his lunch break, but we put the worlds to rights, sorted ourselves out. We know what we're doing, and now we're going home. And unfortunately, it's started to rain, which is a pain in the bum because that's going to stop me doing my work over in Yate. Because, like I said, paperwork, ink, and that they they don't mix together in rain, so. So we got a stump to pick up over there, a piece of timber, which is that piece of graft oak. Um, those of you again that have been with me long enough, might have been here when we took that um, damaged oak down, I think it was last year. Um, we said we would have come back and pick up the stem and put it on the mill, then we forgot. And Arthur's cut some of it up. <laughs> but the graft, graft line still, I think it's still about a six foot pole there. What's a squirrel? I can see a squirrel. He's there. He's on my side, though. He's on my side. Hey, Psst. look, biscuit. Oi, here. Yeah. Oi, biscuit. He's there. Who's there? Who's there? Who's that squirrel? He's not over there, you daft dog. You're looking the wrong way. Psst. Oi, come here. Come here. He's up. He's over there. He was a squirrel. He's up. There. He's up there. He's up there. You missed it. Where's he gone? Where's he gone? Where's the squirrel? Where's the squirrel? What? Hey, you missed it. <laughs> come on, Psst. come on, back over. Back over your side. You was too late, and you were looking the wrong way. It was actually two squirrels. Oh. No, I don't want the rain. Well, I do want the rain. I want the rain because we put our fertilizer on last week and we've not really had anything since. I know the ground was a bit moist. Um, this, this little bit of light rain will actually help wash the fertilizer in, which will do our grass good. But for me, wandering around, I think there's about 100 trees to look at. Um, yeah, the paperwork is just not going to work. Well, it's doable, but it's a pain in the ass. Oh, seems cross. Another one we took down last year, poor old sycamore. They're suffering a bit with the trees up here. There's a bit of honey fungus about. And we've had some very, very hot seasons and some very, very wet seasons. A lot of trees have got stressed, and that's when honey fungus will strike. You've got a good healthy tree, chances are it'll brush the honey fungus off or malaria, but you get a tree that's stressed and it's enough to open the door. Right. 
half past 12. We'll go home, have our dinner, look at the weather, and maybe we'll go to Yate after that. But it's not looking very, very hopeful out there, is it?